In this video, we're looking at solving simultaneous equations graphically. So before we begin, we'll look at some terminology. So a simultaneous equation is two equations that must be solved together so that a solution satisfies both equations. Now, the method we're looking at is the graphical method, and this is a met method of solving simultaneous equations that involves graphing them together and to eliminate one of the variables. So an equation with one variable such as 3x plus 5 equals 11 has one solution for x. However, a linear equation with two variables such as x plus 3y equals 5 has more than one solution. Now if we look at this graph, you can see that there's multiple x's and multiple y's that continue on in both uh, linear equations there. Now, when we solve two equations, we use what we call as simultaneous equations. Now these can be solved graphically or algebraically. We're focusing on the graphical part today. So linear, linear simultaneous equations can be graphed as lines on the same number plane. Now if the two lines are drawn and they're not parallel, the lines will eventually intersect at some point. Now at that point of intersection, the X and the Y coordinate, coordinate represent the solution to the simultaneous equations. It's where they cross or intersect. Now we're going to cover some examples in this video. So on your screen you can see two lines, two linear equations that have been graphed. y equals 2x minus 3 in green and x minus y equals 4 in blue. Now if you were told to find the solution for both equations, like to solve it simultaneously, you look for where they intersect. So they intersect down here which is approximately, now this isn't a scale exactly, but approximately x equals 1 and y equals negative 5. So you would say that the solution is 1, negative 5. Now remember your x's come first when you're writing down your coordinate and then your y's. So next we're going to graph each pair of these equations on a set of axes and find a solution to the pair. So what that means is first we need to create what we call is a table of values and we do that by substituting each of these x values into that equation. So what I mean is if I'm focusing on the first one here, this x minus 6, what we do is we go y equals 2 times minus 6 plus 1 and that equals negative 11. So you would write negative 11 there. Now you would do the next one. So 2 times minus 4 plus 1, that is negative 7, so negative 7 goes next. And you continue until the table is full. Now once you've got it full, those are your coordinates to plot on the uh, number, plane, number plane. So I'll show that in a second. But because we have two equations, we need to do this for both. So we're going to repeat the same process. So we would have negative 6 take away 4, now a negative take away another negative becomes a bigger negative and then you continue the process until all is uh, full. So now that both tables have been completed we need to plot these points on our number plane and then sketch our lines. So the first one I'm not going to worry about this one because it has a negative 11 and our number plane doesn't go to that so I'm just going to move on to negative 4, negative 7 and that's about there. I then do the next one, negative 2 and then negative 3. Then we have 0 and 1, 2, 5, 4, 9 and then I won't worry about the last one. At this stage you can draw a line through the dots. And that's your equation. So this is going to be my y equals 2x plus 1. And now we need to graph the next one. Now it's good to do it in different colors if you can to just see what's going on. So we have negative 6, negative 10. Then we have negative 4, negative 8. Negative 2, negative 6. 0, negative 4. 2, negative 2. Like that and then we draw our line. Like that. Now the point of intersection is down here and you would say it's approximately negative 5 and then negative 9. 
So we're going to repeat that process, but now with this function, these two equations here. So we have y equals 2 times negative 6, and that equals negative 12, so that goes in there. I then repeat it, but instead of negative 6, we do negative 4 this time, negative 8. and so forth until the table is complete. We then focus on the next one, so y equals 3 take away x. So we're going to get 3 take away negative 6. Now remember, because you have these two negatives here, that's going to make a positive. So really what we've got is 3 plus 6 at this point, which is 9. And then you repeat the process until your table is full. Now that they're full, we plot our points. I'm not going to worry about the first one because we don't have negative 12 on the y-axis. So we go negative 4 down to negative 8, and we put a red dot. And we do the next one, negative 2, negative 4, 0, 2, 4, 4, 8. And not going to worry about the last one. Now we look at our green, negative 6, 9, so up here. Negative 4, 7. Negative 2, 5, 0, 3, 2, 1, and then next 6, uh, negative 4, so 4, negative 1, and then 6, negative 3. And draw our lines through them. Now that we've got our lines, we look for where they intersect here, and we write down the coordinates. So the solution for this will be 1, 2, when x equals 1 here and when y equals 2 there. So to end the video, we'll do a quick recap. Remember when we're solving two equations, we're using what we call simultaneous equations, and this video focused on graphically. So when we're solving it graphically, what you need to do is have both equations drawn on the, number, the same number plane, and you're looking for where they intersect. Now that intersection point, the x and the y, represent the solution to the simultaneous equations. So it may involve creating two tables of values for two equations, plotting the points, drawing the lines through, and then finding where they cross.